So, what now? Arzai seems stuck at 50, or a little above 50, for months now. Um, yeah, where, where do we go? And in fact, that's that's an easy that's an easy thing. It's it's uh, the question is, do we expect that the the cycles, the bull bear bull bear cycles in Bitcoin continue, or is this time different? And let me tell you one thing that I learned from my 20 plus years experience in, as an institutional investor: this time is never different. History rhymes, and cycles will always be. It's it's like the tides, of greed and fear. And the market psychology, greed in the in in the bull markets and fear in the bear markets, that's human psychology, and that will not change. Humans will not change. So, in my opinion, we will have another cycle, and another cycle, and another cycle. Plan B's optimistic outlook has provided Bitcoin bulls with a reason to celebrate. The leading cryptocurrency, boasting the highest market capitalization, appears poised for a significant surge after successfully surpassing a crucial resistance threshold. This particular level has a historical track record of initiating extended bull markets. Renowned for his stock-to-flow model, Plan B conveyed his excitement in a recent tweet, indicating that Bitcoin's realized price over the last five months has exceeded previous price predictions and is well on its way to a massive increase in the coming months. This signal serves as a major indicator, aligning with past Bitcoin bull markets. The concept of realized price involves assessing the overall value of Bitcoin based on the prices at which they were acquired, and then dividing this by the total number of circulating tokens during bull markets. Bitcoin's price typically maintains a position above these realized prices, underscoring the upward momentum. Notably, Plan B expressed a bullish sentiment towards Bitcoin's relative strength index, a dynamic gauge measuring the pace and amplitude of price shifts. At present, the relative strength index has entered the oversold territory, signaling an imminent rebound for Bitcoin. Drawing an analogy to an unstoppable high-speed train, Plan B underscores the RSI's importance in pinpointing critical junctures when momentum could drastically shift. Plan B has unwavering confidence in the current market cycle and points out the historical patterns that drive Bitcoin's price. Let's get into the latest interview with Plan B, where he shares his prediction for Bitcoin's upcoming rally and his bullish stance in the coming months, leading up to the halving in March of 2024. Don't forget to share your thoughts and comments down below and leave a like if you enjoy the content we do here. The, the start of the halving cycle was bad because it, it was COVID time at that time, March 2020, and it had a bad start. And then at the top, at the all time high, we had this Chinese mining ban, which cut the RSI from 90 to almost 60, which is huge. And it, it certainly killed the, uh, the all-time high and, and, and probably the bull market. So I think we, we were just, uh, that was just bad luck. And we might have a normal bull market uh, again in the future. Uh, what's also interesting is that uh, you can see in this RSI chart why I thought that we would look at a, a 100K Bitcoin in 2021, despite COVID in 2020, and despite the mining ban. So why did I think we would still have a 100K Bitcoin back then? Because the uptrend was already forming again, and it looked very much like the double top of 2013, and I thought we might have that again. Uh, well, obviously we did not, and I guess by December, 21, we could have known that the bull market was done at a, uh, well, we closed the year December at, at 46K, that level. We, uh, we could have known it was done, with hindsight, of course. <laughs> so, what now? The RSI tells us the bull market of 21 is done, the bear market of 22 is done, and we're now just before the halving, blue, and halvings are historically at 55 or even higher, you're 65 and 70. And then, well, I guess after that, we'll, we'll go to the halving at, at 55 and then we'll see a red, a red bull market again. In an intriguing development, an ancient Bitcoin wallet has come back to life after 13 years, transferring 1,005 Bitcoins valued at $29 million. This event draws parallels with recent instances of dormant Bitcoin movements. 
The wallet, which contained Bitcoin's mind in 2010, has been revitalized by an unidentified user who shifted these inactive coins to new addresses through a series of transactions. The wallet statement reveals that when received in 2010, just a year after Bitcoin's inception, the 1,005 Bitcoins were worth a mere $328. Remarkably, their value has soared to over $29 million, and the crypto community has taken notice of this Bitcoin reawakening, with speculation arising about whether the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, is behind these coin movements. Digital asset strategists also weighed in recently, explaining that the existing balance of $25 million in daily Bitcoin mining rewards, along with equivalent daily demand, could undergo a significant transformation with the potential approval of a Bitcoin ETF. Financial giant Standard Chartered predicts a Bitcoin price of $120,000 by the close of 2024. Analysis suggests that a Bitcoin ETF could introduce an additional $100 million in daily demand, and the upcoming halving event will reduce daily mining rewards to a mere $12 million. In the scenario of a Bitcoin ETF launch, daily demand could reach $125 million, while daily supply remains at $25 million. To achieve equilibrium, the implicit price would need to rise, aligning daily supply with daily demand. Equilibrium analysis points to a clearing price of $140,000 to $180,000 before the anticipated April 2024 halving. The potential for a BlackRock Bitcoin ETF, however, is poised to be a momentous launch, potentially surpassing the first-year inflows of the Triple Q ETF, which amounted to $36 billion. The possibility of Bitcoin ETF assets surpassing those of precious metals ETFs is projected to be valued at more than $300 billion. However, the approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF could introduce manipulation risks akin to allegations surrounding precious metals ETFs like gold and silver. While a physically backed Bitcoin ETF is expected to bolster cryptocurrency adoption and prices, there remains a chance it could mimic the practices of gold and silver ETFs, allowing the leveraging of fictional Bitcoin supplies to manage futures positions during rapid price surges. This hypothetical influx of Bitcoin supply could potentially be released to temporarily suppress global prices. Predictions of Bitcoin entering the six-digit price territory have yet to materialize, although bold projections continue to circulate. While digital asset strategists have confidently maintained the target Bitcoin price of $100,000 per coin by the halving, we could see an equally bullish price of Ethereum reaching $10,000 pushing the entire crypto economy toward an astonishing milestone of $5 trillion. What do you think about the latest interview with Plan B? And what's your opinion on his outlook on Bitcoin's rally in the coming months? Comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. We'll see you in the next video.